Hi there, this is Natasha. I am a crochet artist, tutor, and designer. You can find me on all social media platforms by the name My Creative Butterfly. I design crochet patterns from beginner till advanced levels, and I also take online and offline crochet classes. Welcome to my YouTube channel, and if you like what you learn today, don't forget to like and subscribe. In today's video, I'll show you how to crochet these pretty delicate candle holders. These are a perfect decoration for Diwali. So we'll see step by step how to crochet these. These do not require too much of material. You'll just need the thread and the minimal material that if you are a crocheter, you'll have at home. So I am using size 10 crochet cotton in hot pink and the one in the sample is made with yellow. If you want you can use any other color. With this you will need a 2.5 mm crochet hook. A sharp pair of scissors. A pastry needle for weaving in the ends for finishing the candle holder and a tea light candle you if you want you can also use a LED candle but I like the wax candle so that is why I'm using this one let us now start with the crocheting we'll start with a slip knot so place a slip knot on your crochet hook now for the central ring make chain 10 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Now join it to the first chain that is the 10th chain from the hook to form a ring. That's it. Your central ring is done. Now we'll see how to make the first round. So start with chain 3. We'll count this as the first double crochet. Now make a total of 17 double crochets in the 10 chain ring that we just made. So including the first chain 3, you'll have a total of 18 double crochets in the first round. So continue just like that. Keep making single, uh, sorry, double crochets in the ring. Have a total of 17 double crochets and the first chain 3 included will make it a total of 18. Make them nice and even so that they are tidy. Once done with all 18, join it to the top chain that is the third chain of the first chain 3 that we made in this round to complete the ring. That's it. We are done with round 1. Now for round 2, make chain 1 and make 2 double crochets in, sorry, 2 single crochets in each of the double crochets of round 1. Continue like that. 2 single crochets in each stitch all the way around. You'll have a total of 36 single crochets in this round. Once done, join it to the first single crochet of this round with a slip stitch and we are done with round 2. Now the next round will be worked only in the back loops. So we will start with placing a slip stitch in the back loop of the next stitch like this. Now we will start with round 3. So do chain 2 and a double crochet in the same chain that is the back loop not the chain sorry the same stitch back loop. Now in the second stitch back loop make two triple crochets. Now make a picot. A picot is chain 3 and a slip stitch at the base of the chain 3. Now make 
two triple crochets in the back loop of the next stitch the entire round is going to be worked in the back loops only make two triple crochets in the next stitch like this then one double crochet in the next stitch the back loop only now two chains and a slip stitch in the same stitch this is the first petal like this you'll need a total of eight petals so keep repeating the same pattern we'll be working all the way around till you have a total of eight petals and you have you have worked in each and every stitch so the pattern is slip stitch in the back loop of the next stitch two chains double crochet in the back loop then two triple crochets in the back loop of the next stitch then a picco then again two triple crochets in the back loop of the next stitch then a double crochet in the back loop of the next stitch two chains and a slip stitch in the same stitch keep repeating this seven more times till you have a total of eight petals and you will be done with round 3 Just repeat the same pattern for all the eight petals. double crochet the last double crochet of the eight petal two chains and then a slip stitch in the back loop now the next round will be worked in the front loop so i'll hold the petals like this at the back insert the hook in the front loop and we'll start with a slip stitch insert the hook in the front loop of the first stitch then do a chain one and do one single crochet in each stitch front loop that is remaining So do one single crochet in the front loop that is left we worked in the back loop in the previous round so the front loop is vacant here so in, we will work this round in the front loops of the stitches so just continue by making one single crochet in each of the front loops go that way all the way around
Once done, just do a slip stitch in the first single crochet of this round to complete the round. Slip stitch, that's it. Now we'll just fasten off the thread and then we'll see how to weave it in. I just cut off the thread leaving a nice 4 to 5 inches long tail of thread so that it is easier to weave in. Pull the loop through to secure the end. Now take the tapestry needle and one by one we'll just thread both the ends into the tapestry needle and pass it through the stitches to and fro a few times and then just cut it off very close to the work. Once done with the weaving in, just shape the petals softly with your fingers. Be gentle with it. Don't pull it too hard. Just shape it properly so that it lays flat on the tabletop when you uh, use it for decoration. If you want, you can also apply starch to it so that it keeps its shape uh, more properly. I like it the uh, way it is. I like the touch, the soft touch when I have not applied any fabric stiffener to it. If you want, you can apply the stiffener. That's it, you are done. Now just place a tea light candle at the center and your tea light candle holder is ready to decorate your home for Diwali. Now when you are using this with a wax candle, beware of a certain things. Do not leave it unattended. But till the candle is burning, make sure that there is somebody to watch the candle. Don't leave it burning on its own. Also, do not move around with a burning candle with a crocheted candle holder. If you want to move around, around just uh, uh, blow it off and then move it around and then you can uh, light it up again. These are really pretty and the way the natural wax candle uh, shimmers, it will give it a very beautiful effect. But just make sure that you are extra careful with a candle. Wax candle, if you are using a LED candle, it is really safe to use, but I personally prefer the look of a wax candle. So use it as you like and if you liked what you have learned today, do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any question, feel free to go to the com description, sorry. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments, I will be more than happy to reply and help. Thank you so much for watching, bye bye, happy Diwali and happy crocheting.